Hello and welcome to this CDP Studio tutorial. We are going to make a control system for the input output pins of a Raspberry Pi. We are also going to make a simple GUI for this control system and have this running on the Pi. To do this we are going to be using an open source library called File.io. You can find a link to the File.io library in the description of this video. We are going to be using the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. Here you can see a diagram showing you how we wired the Raspberry Pi for this tutorial. After downloading the File.io library, we place it into the Libraries folder. This is within the CDP Studio Workspace folder. When this is done, we can load it into CDP Studio. With CDP Studio open, we go to File, then Open Projects. Then we locate the Libraries folder and enter File.io. We then pick the File.io project file. This will open the library inside CDP Studio. We now need to build the library using the Raspbian Jesse toolkit. When the library has been built, we are going to create a new system. We are going to remove the default application and add a GUI application to this system. With the GUI application selected, we add the File.io server to it. We then select the File.io server and add three GPIOs to it. We need to set the GPIOs to their correct numbers. We are using GPIO number 17, 27 and 22. These are the pins we are using to control our LEDs. We also take the input for each of the GPIOs. This is because we will write to them. If your setup is using physical buttons, you want to leave the input box unchecked for those pins. We are now ready to make a simple GUI in the design mode. We grab three buttons and lay them out horizontally. We then select all of them and change the vertical size preference to expanding. In order to differentiate between them, we give them names depending on which LED they will be controlling. When that is done, we need to connect them to our GPIOs. We will connect each button's CDP pressed routing to the corresponding GPIO pin. We simply type in the names of the components until we find the file our server. After the file our server, we input the GPIO name. The GPIO names can be seen in configure mode. After the buttons have been connected, we will start setting up the deployment options. We are going to deploy to our Raspberry Pi, and it's on the network. First, we select the network and find our device by its IP address. Give it a name, then input the username and password for its SSH server. When this has been done, we can select our device from the drop down menu. And with the correct toolkit set, we are ready to deploy. We then run our system. As you can now see, the GUI has popped up on the Raspberry Pi screen, and it is now controlling the LEDs via the GPIO pins. This was all for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next video.